Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. In one of the years in the tutorial videos, I talked about collisions, and that is how to detect if one entity collides with another. So then one viewer commented, commented and asked if we can distinguish the entities in collisions. For example, in a shooting game, it's easy to know if a bullet hits a target or not based on the video that I made, but how do we know which target is hit if the targets are different? So in this video, I'm going to adjust this, and I hope you like it. So first, let's import our module. Star, and we can set up our basic app and app.run and now we'll create some entities we'll create a player entity and two target entities so the player is a small ball and one target entity is a large ball and the other one is a cube so we'll move the player to hit the two target entities and create collisions to ensure the collision uh, a collider will be added when entities are created so what we'll do is have a player equal to an entity, I'll set the model equal to a sphere, and I'll set the scale equal to 0.5, and the position equal to 0, 0, 0. And now I'll set this equal to a box collider, and that's going to be our player, so I'll set a ball entity equal to an entity, I'll set the model to a sphere, Uh, so the color equal to a color dot red. So the scale equal to two, and the position equal to negative four, zero, zero. Now I'll also include a box collider for this ball entity. And lastly, I'll create a cube entity. Set it equal to a duplicate. So instead of making a new entity, we'll just duplicate a previous entity, which is going to be the ball. So I'll set the model to a cube and set the color equal to color.green and then set the x position equal to 4. So when we run, let me say run this, we see three entities that are created. So the player is in the middle, uh, the red ball target is on the left, and the green cube target is on the right. So now we want to move the ball to create a collision. So let's first Define the moving uh, speed variable for it, so we'll have a dx variable equal to 0.05, and then we'll define the update function to move the ball. So in your Snow Engine, update function uh, will run automatically for each frame. So we'll define an update function. We'll call global uh, dx, so change in x, and every single time this update function is called, we'll increase the player's x position by dx and so this will move the player to the right so if I run this you notice that the player will just pass through the cube and that there's no collision and that's because we haven't implement, implemented collision detection yet so now we can add in the collision let's close this the function you're going to detect collision is intersex so what I'll do is I'll have a hit info one variable equal to player dot intersects the ball and so this will detect collisions between the player and the ball target and hit two info is equal to player dot intersects the cube and this will detect collisions between the player and the cube target so this way we'll be able to distinguish the collisions between the player and the different targets so when the player hits the target, it will bounce back, and we will show the collision information on the screen. So if hit one info, hit. So if the player hits the ball, we'll set dx equal to negative dx. So that changes the direction of the player, and we'll print on screen. So we'll print onto the screen, colliding with ball. And we'll set this to go to 2, the position equal to negative 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and the origin to 0, 0. So now we can set if hit info 2, a hit, so we want to check if the player collides with the cube. So if it does, we'll set dx equal to negative dx again. We'll print onto the screen colliding with the cube. Again, 
then set the scale equal to 2 and the position equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and the origin equal to 0, 0. So now if I save and run this, we should see that when the player hits the cube, it will show colliding with cube and when it hits the ball, it will show colliding with ball. So now we can safely say that we're able to distinguish the different entities when a collision happens. So this is the end of the video. If you have any comments, please put them below at the comment section. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe button below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.